welcome back in this video we will see how to assemble all the parts of the machine wise and make the drafting view open inventor and then click on new in the metric in and in assembly choose standard mm.iam and then click create in assemble you will have an option called place then click on place and navigate to the folder or the file manager where all the parts of the machine wise are parts made are saved and then click on open right click and then place at the place grounded at origin escape and and now we will import an other part movable job and then we'll add the assembly constraints first i want this whole and this whole to coincide then okay close it now it is rotating apart and moving so i don't want it to rotate so i'm going to add one more constraint and apply now i'm going to add one more constraint now i'm going to add one more constraint click on apply you see now only the movable jaw can move only in this direction uh, cannot rotate actually in working the movable jaw moves in this direction and only from this end to this end you cannot go out so if you want it not to move you can add one more constraint just click on this surface and this surface and add offset uh, or you can just uh, uh, just uh, go inside or you can just leave it as it is it, it, it is not an issue or if you want it to be a, uh, at other distance you can specify the distance now we will add the other components now here you can rotate it right click and rotate about any direction you want now i am going to need two of them one for the movable jaw and one for the body and I have rotated for them accordingly first apply now it is rotating now I am going to add one more constraint apply again one more so that this face and this face meet similarly for this one apply now one more constraint apply and one more constraint now I'm going to place another part if 
there is a screw rod and I'm going to rotate it now I'm going to add constraint In actual, using this th uh, the thread of the this part and thread of the movable jaw are used to rotate, are used to move this movable jaw. You can go inside this, and you're using this, you have to, you have to, you, it should be rotatable, but uh, here it is not necessary. You can just uh, give the constraint and. And use few one more constraint. Apply. Now we'll add the other part. Now I'm going to add three parts together. There is the lock nut, 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 and the washer. Now I'll add constraint to all of this. First for the washer. Next is for the nut. I'll change the direction. Now oh, I'll add one more constraint. Now I'll bring another part in. First I'm going to add the other constraint. And now I'll add the other constraints. Now I'll match the hole. Now we are going to add all the screws. I'm going to bring all the six screws together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm going to apply the constraint. First, I'll choose this place. This is it. Apply similarly for the other one. Right. Similarly for the other one. Apply.
Select. Now I am going to add the other constraints. Apply this one and this one. Apply similarly for this one also. Apply for the clamping plate, also, you need to apply the screws. The similar way. I'm going to choose the space again. Now I'll add the, the constraints. Now, all right, now the assembly part is done. Oh, sorry, here I didn't apply the one more constraint. Now the assembly is done. Uh, we'll save the assembly. Machine. Machine files. And now we'll create the drafting view. For creating the drafting view, open file, new. And in the drawing, click on iso.dwg or idw. Anything is fine. Now, the machine wise assembly is already open. So click on base. By default, the file name of uh, the part or the assembly is open because we have already opened it in the recent, recently. And you can choose it over here and you can see it over here. If you have not opened the assembly in inventor recently, it, uh, you will not be able to see this. So in that case, in the file, just click on this icon and navigate to the file or the folder where the assembly is located and then click on the assembly drawing and then click on OK. And here you are having different views like shaded, hidden light remote and hidden light visible. And here you are having the option scale. I am using the scale 1 is to 1. Or you can use one is to two, it might be big. And here I'm going to change the view and then click on OK. The top view is now available. Now I'm going to draw the half section of the half of the top view. Remember, in the section view, method of projection should be projected, not aligned. If it is aligned, you will not get the proper section. And then click on OK. Now, if you want to add one more view, now I like to add isometric view. So, and it will be a shaded. So just click on shaded and the ratio is changed. So I'm going to change the ratio back to one is to two because it should be uniform. And if this in the hidden line and you can change back the view, go to right, go to the view, right click and edit view. And here you can change the option as shaded. 
now you can see the, the shaded is shown now isometric is so yeah now we'll use uh, add the part list in the annotate click on part list and the default the view is selected and then click in the table appears and i don't need the description menu so and i need the materials edit part list here in the column chooser go to description remove and here you can see material Now I'll add the material, whichever you want, you can add, you can add the volume, whichever you want, you can add, and then click on apply, okay. Now you can see it's there, you can resize it uh, according to your needs. Now I'm going to add the balloon, this auto balloon, and I'm going to select this view, okay, select and select the placement and in the placement you are having different options like around horizontal and vertical and depending upon the orientation of the page and uh, size of the view uh, you will have to choose this i'm going to choose as vertical view and then click on okay 